was the son of a pizza man. Hey guys, welcome to Son of a Pizza Man. My name is Enzo, and today we are making a sausage pizza. I've been told that I make a lot of sausage pizzas by a certain someone. You know who you are. Uh, and so I thought I'd switch it up and not go the traditional pork sausage route. So we're, today we're making a chicken sausage pizza. So and that's also gonna include some apples, some uh, pecans, goat cheese, it's gonna be delicious. So the pizza is topped. I'm going to stick it into my 550 degree oven and cook it for about 10 to 12 minutes. And then we're gonna have some delicious, delicious pizza. Okay, so the pizza is out of the oven. Uh, it looks delicious. Uh, I just added some fresh basil to the top to give it some kind of color. Um, and here it is. So I think it turned out okay. Bottom is nice and crispy. Uh, the one thing I do notice is that the goat cheese uh, has this like curdled look to it, which I'm not crazy about. I think it's supposed to do that, but um, that's the only thing that's like a little unappetizing, but overall, I think it looks lovely. So uh, let's just get into it and try it. All right, let's cut into the pizza. Oh, it's so crispy. How crispy that is. Piping hot. <laughs> This is so hot. Um, so the crust looks okay. It's not as um, it's not as like bubbly and effervescent as I want it to be, but I, if, I'm sure that I'm sure the crust is fine. The bottom is nice and crispy. I don't know if you can, can you hear that. That's the crust. So let me just uh, take a, a huge bite out of this and burn my mouth. Here we go. How unattractive was that? <laughs> I know I say this all the time, but it's good. Um, I, it's, the, the flavors are very subtle. I really like the apples. The actually the thinly sliced apples against the sausage, They're, they really complement each other. And then the goat cheese gives it that, that little tang that I like. So it's a pretty decent combination. And then the pecans on top add a nice little crunch to it. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I would actually change anything, honestly. Uh, maybe, yeah, I don't know. Maybe like cooking the sausage a little bit beforehand, but you don't really need to if you, if you slice it. Uh, thin enough, it'll cook in the oven. I don't know, maybe like uh, maybe some like parm, parmesan cheese like sprinkled on top to give it a little more zing to it. But also maybe some more sausage. Um, I used two links on this guy, and this is about 12 inches or so. So maybe adding three links of sausage to make it more sausagey. You know, you can taste the, the sausage flavor, but. If you want to really taste it, um, maybe three links. But yeah, other than that, I think it's a really good pizza. So if you're into sausage pizza and you want to try something different than your typical pork sausage, just try one of the 
uh, chicken sausage varieties. They make a bunch of different flavors too, not just apple. So thanks again as always, always, always for watching. If you are a uh, returning subscriber, thank you so much for continuing to support me and watch me. Uh, if you're a new subscriber, hello, my name is Enzo. Uh, and if you haven't already, please remember to, I never remember where this damn button is, uh, subscribe right here. Uh, just hit the button and don't forget to click the notification bell uh, to notify you when I upload new videos. So uh, until next time, ciao for now. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could ever.